hot, hot, hot once again today as this has been the trend and will continue to be all week long. But we're having a, a fairly pretty sunrise this morning. A mix of sun and clouds out there for you as we'll get rid of some of that cloud cover in the second half of the day. Similarly to our setup yesterday, we even had a light sprinkle yesterday morning. Sadly, it's not cooling us off all that much. We really have not been losing this heat through the overnight, kicking things off again this morning in the lower to upper 70s, lower 80s out there. And then you got to factor in that humidity. And by the day's end, we can feel like the mid to upper 90s, around 100 degrees at times. So that's where we get this dangerous heat set up, making this heat advisory continue all the way until 8 o'clock Friday evening. So take breaks inside. Find that AC, find that shade, stay hydrated, and just take any and all ways to stay cool. A little bit of a breeze out there this morning that will once again affect the lakeshore. So if you're trying to head to Lake Michigan, great beach days, just not the safest to be in the water. Moderate beach has a risk. Small craft advisory as waves will start off at two to four feet, subsiding to one to three by the day's end. Dry for the moment. We can still have that pop-up shower or storm bubble over by the day's end with that increased heat and humidity. As uh, we can see this here on Future Track, it even has a better chance as we get later into the evening with a little push of energy in here overnight as we can see a stray shower through the overnight time frame right. as well. But your Wednesday planner, 86 degrees at 192 by the day's end. So if you're heading to the ballpark, it's going to be a hot one at first pitch there at 635 for the Whitecaps, staying in the 90s, uh, definitely through the first several innings. Overnight tonight, we're going to try to dip back into the lower 70s. A stray shower is possible, partly cloudy conditions, and then we'll rinse and repeat this forecast for the end of the week. That mix of sun and clouds, the heat and humidity building, that pop-up shower or storm possible for Thursday and yet again on Friday. So just plan on this setup for the next several days, but summer. It officially starts tomorrow. 90 degrees then on Friday as we keep with the 90s all the way through Saturday. Now Sunday will cool off a bit, 82 degrees. But we do have a cold front coming through that's going to give us a better chance for showers and storms than behind that cold front cool off into the lower 80s on Monday. Doesn't last for long though. 87 degrees back again on Tuesday and then even the next 8 to 14 days. Climate Prediction Center continues to keep us in these above average temperatures. On average, we should be about 80 degrees this time of year. So we're going to stay above that now as we wrap up June and head towards that July 4th holiday.